go. Hey, good morning. You ready to start the show? I'm getting ready to now. <laughs> I was starting. <laughs> Okay, then. Okay, bye-bye. All right. It's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning, with your host, Brother Oscar York Divorce, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. applause for Johnny Wilder Jr. Thank you. With all 
the song, tell me what is your goal? With all the song, what is your goal? All right, all right, all right, all right. That was the late Johnny Wilder Jr. And he was singing, What is your goal? He said, My goal, my goal is still going to heaven. What is your goal? Are you allowing the talk that goes around to uh, dim your light, uh, dim your way, uh, get in your way of uh, going to heaven? What is your goal? This is still going to heaven. And I don't know about you, my friend. No, but Oscar's not perfect. But I am striving one day when Christ comes back to make heaven my home. What about you on this beautiful, beautiful day? Are you striving to make heaven your home? I hope. My hope. <laughs> Amen. My hope it is that you are striving to make heaven your home on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. And amen. Yes, 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 yes. And we are so delighted to be with you this morning, and we hope that you are feeling the same. I hope that you are so glad that we are starting your day off with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Of course, this is the program where we are praying up and praising up. And putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Snap, crackle, and pop. Give me, give me something, and that's Jesus Christ to start your day off just just right. Again, we're so delighted to be with you this morning and to bring on another episode of Chatting from the Word. And of course, I am Bert Oscar, the voice, your host, on this morning. And we're so delighted again to be with you and to bring on another episode. It was David who said these words, for this is the day which the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you this morning, my friend, but I am so blessed. Oh, I am so happy that the Lord woke this old guy up this morning. I am so happy. I was so happy and still am happy that the Lord has granted me another day, another chance to make what's wrong in my life right and to walk closer and closer with him. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, 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 yes I am, I am so blessed, so blessed, so blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, and I am blessed, and you are too, recognizing that many went to sleep last night and did not get up for the count. And my friend, if you got up for the count, if you are still on this time side of life, if you are still on the top soil and not the soil on top of you, the good Lord has blessed you with another chance to make what's wrong in your life right and to continue on walking closer and closer with him. Amen. All right. All right, all right, all right. Good timing, good timing. <laughs> amen. And amen. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. This is our weather report for the West Carrollton, Dayton, Ohio, and the surrounding areas. And the weather people says that it is 68 degrees and partly cloudy. And some places are getting some rain. And I believe we, 
I know, I believe that we had some rain last night. I woke up this morning, opened my shades. I was so blessed to open them now to see another beautiful day. But the ground and the pavement the, was damp, and I knew, and I knew after that that we had some rain last night. And I was still sleeping so well and so good doing the rain is sometimes in our lives if you are comparing the rain to our, our lives and rain must fall terrible times must happen and, and and usually when rain falls that is times when things grow and times that we need some rain and the dayton ohio west character ohio needed some rain and sometime in our lives, we need some rain to fall so that we may grow and so that we may learn. But my friend, the beautiful thing about it, when those storms, storms come in your life, when those rain fall, Brother Peter, the apostle, tells us to humble ourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, Casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. So, my friend, if you're going through some hard times, just remember the good Lord Jesus Christ, he cared for you. Amen and amen. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, 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 you're still listening to us here this morning on Chatting from the Word, and we are so delighted that you are listening. And we want to thank you, those who have been listening for quite some time. We want to thank you for your patronage, and we want to thank you for listening and keeping your ears on during the years and during the times that we have been coming on. We do appreciate you, and you all that in the audience this morning that are listening to us live, uh, we appreciate you too also. We thank you for listening in. But my friend, if this happened to be your first time listening, if this happened to be your first time listening, Brother Oscar would love to let you know, first of all, we want to welcome you to the program. And then secondly, we want to honor you this morning, thanking you, honoring you, and thanking you for having your evening. Amen and amen. Yes, yes, yes. We just want to thank you for having your ears on, and we hope that you keep your ears on to the entirety of the program, at least to the chat point, because we do have a beautiful chat for you, and if this is your first time listening, I know this is a, a brand new, probably a brand new chat for you today. And you all that have been listening to us on a continual basis, this is a continuation of One Husband, One Husband. And we are uh, studying and uh, chatting about the second letter that Brother Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. That's Brother Paul, the apostle. And in this second letter, in chapter 11, verses 1 through 10, we are going to talk about the one husband, but not just only talk about the one husband, but we want to signal around uh, verse 3 and verse 4, where Paul is talking about the simplicity of Jesus Christ, the simplicity of Jesus Christ. In other words, Paul is saying that it is simple. And we got to talk about that this morning, the simplicity of Jesus Christ, our Lord, because it's simple. It's simple. And this morning, we want to signal out the simplicity of Jesus Christ. And we are going to, of course, go to Acts 8, and then we are going to go to Acts 2 to uh, show you what the early Christians and believers in the scriptures did when uh, they came to their belief in Jesus Christ. So, my friend, we hope that you hold on in there long enough until we get to the chat. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 
You are listening to Chatting from the Bird. Yes, 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 you are still listening to Brother Oscar. Yes, you are. And we hope that you love what you're listening to. And if you love what you're listening to, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, those that you're partnering up with on Facebook, Wicked and Instagram, and other entities where you are using to to uh, chat with people. Tell them about us here on Chatting from the Word. Amen and amen. And my friend, if you're wondering where you can listen to the program, here's our announcer to let you know where. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course you can Google our program Chatting from the Word hosted by Oscar Wall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, I have Radio 45, Google Podcast, Franker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen and amen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not sure how the commercials are running today, but you heard a couple of commercials on the program. We want to uh, thank you. After hearing the commercial, we just want to thank you, our commercials. We just want to thank you for coming back and chatting with us here on Chatting from the Word. And again, if you want to catch our program live, you can go to Tumblr, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and of course, Freaker, the uh, platform that presenting our program on this beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. Amen. And uh, a, a man. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page on Facebook page on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. Sweet
our prayer time and if you do have a prayer request uh, that you want us to pray for here on chatting from the word you can send it to those entities our announcer continue on announcing and as always if you do have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential that's fine with us here on chatting from the word with due respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so pleased to do just, just that. And then this is our prayer time, and we need to keep in our prayers. Those that have been requesting prayers from time to time are uh, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times in their lives. And, of course, we need to pray for this government in which we live. And since we are on the verge of selecting a new, a new, uh, a new leader, a new president, and, and new others to uh, to run this country in which we live, we just pray that our selection will be the right one and a selection that will help us to continue on teaching and preaching God's word and to help us all to get along and to be blessed. Amen and amen. Again, this is our prayer time, and uh, if you have a copy of God's Word, and would love to read along with us doing our prayer time scripture. Our prayer time scripture is taken from uh, Psalms, the 55th Division, verses 1 through 7. That Psalms, the 55th Division, verses 1 through 7, and the psalmist sing this psalm. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend to me, and hear me. I mourn in my complaint, and I make a noise, because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is so pain within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror had overwhelmed me. And I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, but then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander forth and remain in the wilderness to lie. Oh, here the psalmist said, my, my problems are so tough. My enemies are so against me. The only thing I can think of is death and dying because of the oppression, because of the enemies, because of their voices are, are just coming at me. And I just wish I had wings to just can get away from it all. Get away from it all. Wings. I wish I had wings like a like I wish I had wings like a dove. And then I would fly away. Far away. And then of us we felt like that sometimes, don't we? We just want to get away from terrible people, people that talk bad about us, people that run us down, people that 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 they go against us and they cause trouble for us. And at times, we want to get away. But my friend Jesus, and being Jesus, and having faith in him, 
is a place, is a person that we can depend on when trouble comes. So let us have a little talk with our Father in the name of Jesus this morning. God, very have a little talk with the Father. Our Father, our Father who sits high and looks forward. Father, we just want to thank you this morning. Yes, we do, Father. We just want to thank you this morning. We just want to thank you this morning for allowing us to praise you. Father, we just want to thank you this morning for allowing us to have a little talk with you this morning. Oh, Father, we just want to thank you for allowing us to see another day. A day on yesterday was not promised. But, Father, because of your love and your tender mercy for us, you're giving us on this time side of life another chance. Another chance to make what's wrong in our life right and to walk closer and closer with you, Father. This we thank you, thank you, and thank you for. And Father, we come again. Thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to the sin-cursed world, to show us how to love, to show us how to live and to connect with you. Oh, for this we are so thankful, so thankful for. And Father, we thank you for allowing him and he himself took upon himself the cross, becoming sin, taking our place, becoming sin so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. This, Father, we thank you Thank you, Father, so much, so much, Father. And, Father, we just thank you, Father, for allowing salvation to be brought down. Father, we thank you, Father, for saving us in Jesus Christ and his body this morning. Oh, Father, we pray for those of us caught up in the all the disastrous things that has going on in this world. Earthquakes and diverse places, storms and tornadoes that are destroying lives and taking lives, Father. We pray for those that have been affected by the, the uh, disasters in this world that they may hold on and cling much closer to you. And Father, we pray for those that are caught up in all the mass killings and road rages, Father. We pray for them as well, Father. We pray that you allow them to recognize from which comes their help. And their help comes from you. We've made heaven and earth. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for all the nations that are caught up in wars this morning. Father, we pray, we pray this morning. Yes, we do, Father. We pray that they find the peace and that peace that calls understanding. Oh, Father, we pray for any boy, girl, man, or woman who is, who is searching for Jesus. They may find him and be added to the body of Christ this morning. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for those that are going through sickness. We pray for those that are going through some aches and pains within their bodies and seem like there's no relief from all the pain. Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones due to hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray we pray, Father, for their families. Father, yes, we do. We pray that you will also comfort them. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders this morning. We pray, Father, that they never make laws ridding us of worshiping you, but make laws for to live in peace and in harmony. 
Father, again, we pray for the church, the body of Christ. Father, continue allowing the body of Christ, the church, to be the lighthouse, lead others to Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Yes, we do, Father. We pray, Father, that you be with them, help them through all their doubts and fears. Help them through all the troubles. Cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they want resurface anymore. Father, we pray for our program this morning, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us keep this program on the airways. Father, help us keep chatting about your Word and from your Word. Father, we pray that we uh, to do our chat today, one husband. Father, help us that we may uh, talk about the simplicity of Jesus Christ. Help those that are listening may learn and grow by that and by the things that we're chatting about. And Father, we pray for those that are going through some troubled times, troubled in their marriages, troubles with their children, troubles on the job, troubles finding a job, troubles in school. Father, we just pray, pray, pray. Pray for the church that's trying to find you. We pray for those churches, Father, that they may look toward the law of liberty and be obedient to it. And Father, we pray for those that are teaching the preaching the word worldwide, Father. We pray, Father, that you help them to stay on the right path teaching your word and teaching your word as it is commanded in your word to teach so they may uh, lead others to Christ. And Father, we pray as always that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. thank you for reading our scripture text along with us for praying along with us and as always we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind and of course if you do have a prayer request you can always send it to those entities that we continue on mentioning amen and amen you're listening to chatting from the word Hey, 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 yes, 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 you're still, you're still, you're still listening to us this morning, and that is the bell, and time for 
our chat for this morning. And I was thinking pretty soon if I can uh, uh, get enough money to get another screen in here, pretty soon you will see at least at this, this portion of the program live. We're planning on videoing uh, this part of the program so that you may be able to uh, use it if you want to help someone to see Christ or to help someone to come to Christ. And, of course, we over the years we've been coming on and we hope that this radio program, this podcast, whatever you want to call it, and that's fine, Brother Oscar, have helped you during the years, over the years, to see Christ and to grow thereby. And this is what uh, we're here for, and this is the reason why we develop this program, Chatting from the Word, uh, because to help others uh, in their Christian walk, in their Christian growth, and to help others to search for Christ and to find him. And we hope that over the years we have done that, to help others to find Christ and to help others to grow strong in Christ once they get in to Christ. Is that all right? <laughs> is that all right? We, we, hope, we hope that you're still listening, or we hope that you still have your ears on. If you do, if you do, do us a favor. Subscribe to our program. Please do that. We need subscribers, especially on our YouTube station. Do that. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube station, and if you're listening, do that. If you have not subscribed to other stations that we're coming on, do that. Not only subscribe to these, uh, to us, but also be a part of us, too, so that uh, you may listen to us live and so that you may be a part of our program so that we may be able to put that all in point, snap, crackle, and pop, and to help you get your day started off right. Yes, it's like the Rice Krispies. You eat Rice Krispies and you pour the milk on it <laughs> and you hear the snap, crackle, and pop. Well, we like that. We want to help you. Be that milk <laughs> where you can uh, have a snap, crackle, and pop in your day so that you may smile and show others Christ in you. Because sometimes in life, life and things that occur in our life gets us down, don't they? And that's a beautiful thing to be able to, to smile and to be happy and to enjoy life in Jesus Christ. Because there's so much, there's so much going on in this world in which we live, mass killings and drugs and the list just, just goes on and on and on. But it's just a beautiful thing that we can, in the morning, come together and, and talk about Jesus and hear a little song of praise and, and, and just to grow and to be happy and to hear a beautiful voice telling you that you can enjoy Jesus Christ. You can be happy. You can be blessed. You can be contented in Jesus Christ on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Amen, amen. Now, you know what I want you to do, correct? <laughs> what, what is that, Brother Oscar? I want you to get relaxed. Go ahead on and get relaxed, get relaxed, get relaxed. Go ahead on and have your favorite beverage, coffee, morning beverage, <laughs> coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever, but not the horse stuff. Catch that Throw that out the window or do it, <laughs> whatever it may be. And get relaxed. If you relax, you reclining chair, recline on out. If you more relaxing at the dinette table as we discuss God's Word, that's fine. But what we want you to do is have a copy of God's Word so that you may see what we are talking about this morning or where we are coming from. Because this is... I'm the type, I'm like this, I'm the type of preacher, minister, I want you to see where Brother Oscar is coming from. I don't want to teach you nothing that the Bible do not teach, and that's what I believe. I'm, I'm trying to teach you, teach you what the Word of God has to say, 
And I want to make sure that I'm coming from the Word of God. And if anyone see that I'm not, hey, debate me about it. Send me, uh, if you want to do that, send me scriptures where I'm wrong at. Well, but send me scriptures. Not something that you heard over the years, not something that grandpa or grandmother taught you, but what is contained in the oracles of God itself. Okay, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. But this morning, and for the past several weeks, we've been talking, uh, uh, chatting from the second letter that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church. Amen. That's right. The second letter that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church and, of course, we are in chapter 11, and we want to signal on, or uh, close in on, verses 3 and verses 4. And we are, what we're doing here this morning, we, we want to talk about the simplicity that's in Christ. The simplicity that's in Christ. And this is what Brother Paul is trying to get the Corinthian church to understand, okay? That's why he talks about uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the one husband. In other words, Paul, Brother Paul, the apostle, is trying to allow the Corinthian church to know that you must embrace Jesus Christ. You must allow Jesus Christ to be your master, to be your Lord, be your all in all. Okay? You must reverence him and his word. You must know him deeply. And most people today don't want to get to know Jesus Christ. And let me let me say this, because many people are, are so confused when it comes to Christ. We're not talking about being perfect. But first of all, we're talking about being in Jesus Christ and in his body. And once you get into Jesus Christ and his body and doing it right, then you can work on you in the name of Jesus. And when you're in the body of Christ, you have others to help you to grow and to mature as you should in Jesus Christ. And along the way, we're going to fall too. We're going to fall regardless of the storms that come to our lives. And because of Satan is so uh, strong when it comes to when we finally obey Jesus Christ, that's when Satan is to get <laughs> come to us the hardest. He's like a roaring. Peter says, like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And Satan is out there in the world. And when we talk about Satan, we ain't talking about uh, someone you can really, uh, uh, a devil you can see, but we're talking about the world itself. We're talking about people that come in your life that cause you to want to sin, things that cause you to want to sin. And that is what we're talking about. And the world is doing that on a daily basis. When you watch TV, even much when your friends come over, even even when you're married, and then and then, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to get deep into that, but Satan is strong, and we need to embrace. And we are going to fight Satan. We need to embrace Jesus Christ. Come in. We need to embrace Jesus Christ and let Him be. Our all and it all to us this morning. And we need to allow him come on, come on. We need to allow him to be our all and in all if we are going to uh fight Satan. If we are going to truly have a chance to go to heaven. We need to embrace Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Excuse me. Thank you. 
We have a good day. And we need to embrace Jesus as our all. If we're going to have a chance to fight Satan. Because we cannot fight Satan by ourselves. And this morning, Paul, in, in, in verse 3 of 2 Corinthians 11, Paul says, and let me read this so we want to uh, uh, allow you to know and to bring in your memory uh, where we are coming from. And Paul is saying, but I fear, lest by any means as the serpent begold Eve to his to his subtlety, so your minds, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that's in Christ. Here, what what Paul is saying that that it, like Satan, like ser the serpent, <laughs> Satan, if you want to uh, call it that, which is Satan, uh, the serpent got to Satan. Uh, Satan got into the serpent. And he beguiled Eve, he tricked Eve because he was so cunning, he was so uh, clever, and he, you know, when he came to Eve, he just, he showed Eve how beautiful this tree was. He showed Eve, how, look at that fruit, it's shining, it's calling your name, you need it, <laughs> you need it. And then up he said now he said now, now now God knows if you eat up this tree you'll be wise like God that got to us. And today in the world, yes, Satan get to us to our to the things that we desire. Uh, if I can if I can put it like that. Here all this time that tree was in the midst of garden during time. Adam was there by himself. He didn't eat all but, but it was till Eve came and she was taken in by Satan cleverness. As I say, many of us are like that today. Aren't we? we were taken in by the world cleverness of getting us to buy down to Satan. And many of us are like that today. We allow the world to 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 get the best of us. But here Paul is saying to the Corinthians. I want to be able to teach you, to show you, to help you, to make Christ your all in all so that you won't fall prey to Satan. Okay? So that you may not be corrupted from the simplicity that's in Jesus Christ. The simplicity that's in Christ. And it is simple. It is not hard. And this is what Paul is saying, the simplicity in Jesus Christ. And the world, the world wants to keep us away from that simplicity that's in Christ Jesus. That's why we went to Acts 8, and we're going to just talk about this and move on to Acts 2. And we showed you how, first of all, the eunuch, of the spirit led Philip, to Gaza, which near desert. And Philip found the eunuch reading from Isaiah 53. And he had, Philip made the eunuch recognize that Isaiah 53 was talking about Jesus, him crucified. And of course, some, some place, somewhere, uh, Philip mentioned Jesus Christ being crucified, and if you want to be a part of Jesus Christ, you must be baptized. And then they came unto a bottle, body of water, and a eunuch asked Philip, see if water was hindering me to be baptized. And then Philip asked the eunuch, do you believe? Do you believe with all your heart? Listen to the simple question that Philip asked the eunuch. And Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered, and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. 
And what led the Ethiopian eunuch to believe? Because of love. The love he had for Christ and wanted to be in Christ. Like I said the other day, this question is a loaded question that Philip asked the eunuch. He said, I, listen to it again. If thou believest with all your heart, and that belief calls one to want to love Christ. That belief is talking about confessing Christ. That belief is talking about changing your life for Christ. Not just only believing in him. Once you believe, you will change. And this is what the eunuch did. And the Bible says in verse 38, he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they both went to the water. And Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they would come out of the water, the spirit out of the water, the spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went away rejoicing. Oh, my friend, if you truly love the Lord, if you truly accept the Lord, if you truly believe in the Lord, and you would do more than just believe, you would be an obedient to the Lord, as the eunuch did here, you would be rejoicing. And in Acts 2, and we're going to hit this for a little while this morning before we end, and Acts 2, and Acts 2 is where we left off yesterday talking about the simplicity of Jesus Christ. And if you love Jesus Christ, you will be an obedient to him. It's nothing hard, but it is very simple. And the world would, would cause you to believe it's hard. Satan would cause your mind to not to love Christ. But it's about love this morning. If you want to be saved, it's about love for Christ. At these instances, when we, uh, with the eunuch, it was love. He recognized how much you love Christ, and he wanted to be in the body of Christ. And the same in Acts 2, uh, in verse 2, 36, uh, 37. The Bible says, and we're going to read this, a little bit of this, and our time is for spent, and we're going to allow this to be our last thought. The Bible says in Acts 2, 37, now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brothers, what must what shall we do? The same way the eunuch was pricked with love for Christ, the same way those on their Pentecost was pricked in their hearts, they was touched, maybe some were shedding tears, they was hurting, and said to uh, Paul, Peter, and the rest of the apostles, what must I do? Amen, Brother Oscar, what must I do? Each of you and ask. asked, Philip asked, do you believe? Yes, I believe. You must believe. And then Peter said, well, since they already was pricked and believed, since they already came to Christ, was coming to Christ, not came to Christ, but they was coming to Christ. And then the only thing Peter had to say to them now, they already heard the gospel, they believe it, and they now need to repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. As a eunuch was baptized. It's simple. As we state, it's Satan that will make you think that coming to Christ is not. It's simple. The simplicity that's in Christ. It's not, it's not hard living for Christ once you come to Christ. Yes, of course, storms will come in our lives, but once the storms come in our lives, you're going to recognize by holding on to the hands of Jesus, you're going to recognize them storms become easy. That's all we have for you this morning. We hope that we have said something this morning to cause you to want to believe, to cause you to accept Jesus Christ, and to be in the body of Christ on this beautiful, uh, beautiful day.
And we hope that you're here to listen to us tomorrow, be the Lord's will. We'll be on tomorrow. So catch us tomorrow, okay? As we are still studying the one husband. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom is here. Thy will is being done. Father, we just want to thank you this morning for allowing us to be a part of your day, uh, allowing you to be part of our day, allowing us to talk about you and to uh, show others you. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. Father, we pray that you be with them, help them to show well Christ in them by walking with their snap, crackle, and pop, and having a smile on their face and showing the world that in Christ there is happiness. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.